How essential is reading music um, if you're a producer? Um, yeah, that's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> I know we see all sorts. Yeah, um, it's, you know, the short answer to that question is almost, if you turn on the radio, almost every song that you hear went down without written music. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's been, that's been true since, you know, since rock and roll, mm. you know, or even folk music took over. Um, I, I do read music, you know, I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I write symphonies. <laughs> yeah. um, but most of the time when I'm in the studio, that's, that's, that doesn't come up. Right. It doesn't come up. I know a lot of great producers, you know, Dr. Dre among them, who, who don't read a note. Uh, um, you know, DJ Premier, uh, he knows the notes, but I don't, you know, I, I don't think he's actually had to read or write music in his entire career. Right. Um, now, having said that, you know, as an educated musician myself, you know, there are times when reading music is, I, I think it's a really good pursuit, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm actually in a funny position because I'm a really good reader for a guitarist, mm -hmm. which basically means I suck at reading uh -huh. you know? <laughs> because guitar <laughs> players are just infamously bad at reading. Yeah. But I, I, I am, you know, I do actually get calls to do sessions because I'm a reading guitarist, oh, okay. even though a, any saxophone player or violinist, you know, would just, you know, drag me behind the oh, truck yeah. in terms of reading. You know, I mean, I'm not that great of a reader, but guitarists are so bad usually <laughs> uh, that I'm actually pretty good. So. Having said that, you know, it's, I would encourage you to, uh, to learn how to read, but to answer your question honestly, yeah, you know, um, if you don't read, don't think that that means that you can't produce records or be a studio musician mm -hmm. or play in a band, you know, I mean, the Beatles didn't read, you know, right. uh, now George Martin did, you know, it's nice if you don't read to partner with somebody who can write some really cool charts for you, right. you know, but um, not everybody in the studio needs to know how to read. Absolutely not.